Alright farmers, we're back with a new map. So, this is Domain de Lurie. This is my Uncle Sly. 226.75 megabyte of the download. And I hope I've pronounced that correctly. <laughs> yeah, me and foreign languages is not the greatest. And it's a map basically set in France. Fair enough. So what we're we talking about from a slot count perspective. If you come on farm manager and start from scratch, you're going to use 1,024 slots. If you come on new farmer, you're going to use 1,259. Now obviously the difference is going to be the equipment, as you normally would imagine. And also some of the buildings aren't there on the start farm. So just bear that in mind. So what about the equipment? We got under small tractors, we've got the Steyr 8150. Under medium tractors, the Class Action 800. Under harvesters, the New Holland CH770. Under cars, now the cars, you have this in all three game modes. That's all right. Everything else, New Farmer. This one, the Mahindra Retriever, all three game modes. Fair enough. Under trailers, the Class Carrot 140TD and the Walga DK115. Under headers, the New Holland Superflex 25 foot. Under plows, the Agrimaz POV 5XL. Then we'll come down to cultivators. We've got the Amazon Senio 4000 Super. On the Power Harrows, the Amazon KG 3001 Super. On the Cedars, the Amazon Centea 3000 Super. On the Rollers, the Dalbo Power Roll 1230 HD. On the Fertilizer Spreaders, the Breedle K105. And then the Amazon ZATS 3200. On the Weeders, the Einbock Pneumatic Star 900. On the Mowers, the Pottinger Nova Cat 301 AM ED Pro. Then we come down to Tedders, and we've got the Pottinger Alpin Hit 4.4H. On the Wind Rowers, the Sip Favorite 254. On the Forage Wagons, the Pottinger Boss Alpin 251. On the Front Loaders, the Howard XB150. Front Loader Tools, the Albert Pallet Fork and Universal Bucket. And on the Header Trailers, the Nardi N40BX. And then on the Weights, the Class W900. That's a fairly decent amount of equipment starting off, I must admit. So, what about the map? we got this here. Now, obviously, farm managers start from scratch. You don't own any land. But on New Farmer, you own Area 47, which is going to be your start farm. And number two. Hmm. All right, fair enough. Now, prices, 73 grand for that one. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, you, know, you can't 79. You can't buy the lake. They are. It's a bit on the outside. 123 grand. There's a bit of forestry up here as well, if you want to be getting on with that. And there's some smaller plots down here. I mean, there is a couple of buildable plots as well. So we've got these here, 90 and 91. And there was an area down here. They are number 31. Obviously, you get the field, but you get sort of like a, an area behind it as well. If you want to buy that, not a problem. And that was a buildable area as well, number 96. But that being said, not bad prices. Now, we'll move on to this section because... We've got some new things on this map. And obviously, there is going to be some required mods. But it's not that bad, actually. We've got the French Farm Buildings Pack by Omatana. The Metal Shed by Simulator Games. The Great Production Pack by Chembem. And the Old Sheepfold by VX Mapping. Now, obviously, some of these in the shop menu are from the Great Production Pack. So basically, from Grape Seed downwards. But these above it, so you've got Tofu, Soy Smoothie, Soybean Patties... Tapenade, or is it tapenade? All right, fair enough. And yellow soybeans. Interesting, interesting. So yellow soybeans, obviously, is going to be a crop done into the ground. Now, you're going to be able to do that with a normal seeder. So if we go into there, there you are. One on the right, yellow soybeans, no problem. Obviously, harvest it with a normal header. The other stuff is obviously going to be in a production chain. So we'll get around to that shortly. Now... You start all three game modes here, and you're in the shadow of a castle. Ah, fair enough. Not a problem. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump over this wall, rather than drive all the way around, because next door to that is going to be an animal dealer. You've got a sale point for your bales, animal dealer just there, jobs are good. We'll come out of there, we'll go over the road, we've got a fuel station down here. Let's see how much they're charging for fuel in France. Let's have a look. 150 a litre. To, to be fair, that's pretty much bang on where I am at the minute. Next door to that, we've got a shop. So you've got your vehicle workshop at the front. And obviously, can we go inside? No, we can't. She's just walking around. Like she's lost. <laughs> she's walking around in circles. 
Alright, fair enough. There's your main shop just there. So I'm going to come back out of there. I'm going to come down the road a little. I'm going to turn left. Have I gone the wrong way? There's a good chance. I normally do. Yes, I've gone left. <laughs> back down this way. Turn right into here. There we go. That's better. So in here. And then we're down this little bit down here. And here's the entrance. There we are. So you've got a south point just here. So this one. Right there. Is. Oh. Now. Le Jardin de Femmier's farm shop. Farm shop. Right. Fair enough. Next to that. Is going to be a silo. A buyable silo. So that one. Is. There you are. Lime station. That being said though. I mean the south point is just there. You've got another south point in here. This is all going to be part of the farm shop i'd imagine and then around here it's going to be a car park and there's your facility right fair enough not a problem yeah farm shop not a problem right we'll move on we're going to jump up to this area up here this is going to be a first of your production chains this is actually a cheese factory so you come over here like that so there you are click on that we'll buy that 50 grand we're going to do butter and cheese all right not a problem not a problem oh so we'll come around here, put your loading in point for your stuff there. That means there should be a pallet spawn point around here somewhere. Go on, where's your pallet spawn point? Pallets there. Is that the same area? It says storage is empty. Interesting, because there's no hatch markings for any pallet spawns. Well, this side. And like that? No, that just looks like all the junk for the outside of the building. Nothing in there. Can we open up these doors? Alright, fair enough. That just means it's got to be that hatch marking area there. So loading in at the pallet spawn point. That can't be right. That can't be right. Oh, there's got to be somewhere else, was not it? What about these? Do these open? No. Am I completely missing something? I mean, there's a good chance. Alright, it is what it is. Pallet spawn point must be there then. Right, fair enough. We'll come over the road. Up here like that. There we are. And this is going to be your main start farm. So you come on here on new farmer. This is what you're going to have. Now, farm manager start from scratch. None of these buildings, apart from the house, the house is here. The rest of the buildings aren't. So if it looks a bit empty, you're on the wrong game mode. So you've got your sleep trigger just there. You've got your dog just there. Next to that, we've got a honey spawn point. Obviously, you've got your three beehives just there. And we've got a diesel tank. How much is that going to hold? Let's have a look. 10,000 litres going in there like that. And we've got a bit of a shed. Let's open up those doors like that. No problem. With the equipment inside. Next to that, we've got a chicken coop. So you've got animal dialogue box, food goes in, egg pallet spawn points. This is going to hold 30 chickens. Get some chick chicks on the go. Next to that, there's going to be another building. We'll open up like that. There we are. So in here is going to be your sheep. So 80 sheep go in there. Food goes in that side. And then your pallet spawn point is just in there. So obviously you will need to have some sort of small equipment just to get through that door. Maybe like a skid steer or something like that. Fair enough. Next to that, you've got a bunker silo. We're going to do a bit of silage. We'll spin it back round again. We've got a, another shed over there. Another shed over there. And then we've got this silo there. Load in and load out at the same point. Oh, fair enough. It's a nice little setup, that is. Right. We'll go back into the map then, because we're going to move on. We're going to come up to this one up here. So this is going to be your BGA for you. So, usual shenanigans on the go with that. Loading in for your slurry. Solid stuff goes into there. Production chain menu is just there. So 435 grand to buy that. And then you've got your digestate taken out point just here. I'm wondering why the icons are a little bit raised in the air. Alright, alright, fair enough. And there is this building here that you can open. I mean, I don't own this land, mind you, but you could use that there. Get a storage. Fair enough. Right, we're going to carry on. We're going to come all the way down to this one down here. This is another production chain for you, but it's actually a spinnery. Ooh, nice. Right, so we've got the 60 grand to buy it. 
And then you've got your loading in point that side, and your pallet spawn point is around the other side. Just behind that building, just there. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. So what we're going to do, we're going to come out, we're going to turn left, we have a little run down the road in the August sunshine, because, you know, a bit of exercise. We've got these olive groves here. That's all right. I mean, if you bought that land, hey, I mean, you've got one there, 58. It's going to cost you 31 grand. Those olive groves would have cost you a fortune to plant. That's ace. I mean, you've got another one there. And we've got any down the bottom. Oh, we've got grapes here. So grapes down there. So 33 grand. That one's 50 grand. They're well cheap. I'd say don't place your own down. Get the, buy these plots up. There's a lot cheaper. So we'll come up there. And next to that, we've got another production chain. So we're coming here like that. There we are. So you've got your loading in point just there. Pallet spawn point here. And we've got this here. Now, M Moulin did de delete. De yeah, 60 grand. We'll pay. We'll buy that. So we've got something else. Here's where tapen tapenade tapenade this is where you buy your tapenade or you produce it even you got your olives going in and then you make that so you got olive oil or tapenade tapenade however you pronounce it soybeans fair enough fair enough indeed right we'll carry on we'll go back into the map then because we're going to move on so we are up here at the minute we're going to jump down to this area down here so this is going to be your soybean factory for you. So you've got your pallet spawn point just there. Come around this side. You've got your production chain menu. So we'll click on that. 75 grand. Yes. What can we make from this? Oh yeah. Soybean patties. Soy smoothie and tofu. Right. Okay. So soybean patties. You need yellow soybeans. Barley. Flour. And sunflower oil. And then obviously you're going to get your soybean patties, soybean smoothie, yellow soybeans again, and water. And then tofu, yellow soybeans, and water again. Fair enough. And obviously when you bring all your stuff down, you need to come around here, chuck it all in the grating, and then away you go. Interesting. I mean, if you're into vegetarian stuff, this could be the factory for you. All right, fair enough. Right, we'll go back up to the map then, because we're going to carry on. We're going to come down into the village area down here. Now, I do like a map that's got a nice village feel to it. And this is great. Look at this. Oh, ace. So, for the bakery itself, you come down here. Maybe not with a vehicle. You come down the vehicle that way. And you sling it round the back of the bakery like that. There we are. You've got your loading in point just there. Then you've got your pallet spawn point just there. Production chain menu. It's 50 grand. What are you going to be making on here? Bread and cakes? Standard bakery. Not a problem. So, we'll come out of there. Now, we need to find our way over the road. So come around here, come around this side. There we are, that's it. We come down here, up the road a little. Turn left up here, no, turn right up there, don't get stuck on the sign. Can we get around the back there? Oh, yes, we can. In here, look up the stairs. Come all the way up here. And we've gone the pedestrian route. All right, fair enough. You've got this sound point just here. So this one, go back into the map. Is that one there? So restaurant. Yeah, here are all the people anyway. Sell your stuff. Obviously, normally you'd come down this road if you was in a vehicle because you're not going to get it up the steps. Not a problem. So we'll carry on back down the village. I like this. This is ace. Oh, look at it. Look at the buildings. Oh, nice. Right, so we need to come down these steps here like that. Down this one. There we are. So you've got another sail point just here for you. So this one is called Hotel. Sell your stuff in there. And we'll carry on down. That being said, though. I oh, know you come up this one here. Oh, not. What if they light up at night? That would be very picturesque if that did. Oh, that would be ace. So um, we've got another sail point next door to that. Come around here like that. There we are. Over here. Fairly simple on that one. Tell your stuff. Buy the market stall. Is it called market stall? Come on, click on it. There you are. Oh, grocery. Tell your stuff down there. Jobs are good in. Like that village. That is nice. 
nice indeed right we'll carry on we're going to jump over to this area up here so this is going to be the sawmill for you so you've got your usual shenanigans on the go so loading in point salwood icon then we'll come down here you've got your production chain menu just there for you that's going to be 125 grand you got your wood chip taken out point just there that being said where's the pallet spawn point now i've been one or two places i have around this corner there we are there it is fair enough but it's right next to a lake which looks really great i mean down the other end is like a little hut whatever sort of thing go a bit of fishing oh that's nice that is nice right we'll carry on we're going to come down to the bottom one down here so you've got another production chain down here this is going to be your grey mill to be fair this looks awesome so you come in you've got your loading in point just there you've got your pallet spawn point but you come out over here it's, it's like on a dam it's like gonna have like a water wheel inside just turning the wheels it's awesome well that being said where's your production chain menu it's gonna be around this side isn't it there we are so there we go 96 grand that's ace grain mill on the river oh that's brilliant love it right carry on we're gonna come over to this area up here so this is gonna be like your train siding loading area just as the train disappears off into the distance so you got this bit here first off so this is gonna be actually a sow point railroad silo south junk it in there We've got a buy point just there. Spin it around this side. No, it's not. That's a loading in and taking out point, isn't it? It's not so. It's, it's, it's got a sell point there. It's actually a loading in and taking out silo for your train. All right, fair enough. So then come around this side. You're going to have the same option as you would for your normal train. So loading in, taking out just over there for you. And then here it's going to be your rent a train option. There we are. Rent your train, off you go. Now, this is going to go Merisone that way, then up the top, Merisone again. Fair enough. That's where, if you're going to get that on a sow point, sow board, whatever you're selling, and it says Merisone, you need to load it into your train. So just bear that in mind. So, what we'll do, we're going to take a run down the train track probably not the best idea but <laughs> we'll do it anyway up to the last area up here nice little industrial park over there what's that amori parcel logistics all right fair enough so we'll come around here like that round to here there we are so we've got a sell point and a buy point so you've got these up here so you've got a sell point general warehouse then a buy point general warehouse as well so if it says there general warehouse come down this side of the map and they'll sort you out and to be fair right that's all right although saying that i must admit we go back into the map we've gone around every production that's on the base game map right so why did it need the great production as a required mod not quite sure now because if we go in there it requires that none of it's used I mean, even if you go into the productions on there yeah we've got the ones that have like the tofu and use the soybeans and that but actual great productions aren't in use unless hmm. strange strange indeed but that being said though it is a nice map i mean you've got plenty to be getting on with got some animal pens for you to be doing on the main farm got a bit of forestry if you want to go down that road yeah i like it very nice right so that's your map tour done for you why not hit the join button come join us on andy's farm and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's muchly appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one